The first sequence will be used as the background. Let's see first how the mask A, B and C will interact. On your second video, choose the right position of the cursor when you take the pillow. Go to File, Export Movie, Single Frame as JPEG. And give it a name, Mask A. On your third video, do the same thing, choose the right position before you take the pillow to create the mask B. Go to File, Export Movie, Single Frame and call it Mask B. Still on the third video, export your movie as a single frame again, but this time when you take the pillow and call it Mask C. To create the alpha masks, I'm using Photo Designer, which you can download for free on Magic's website. Open your mask A and use the lasso to create the outline of your mask. Use the Fill tool to paint your selection in white. Go to Selection, Invert Mask and paint the selection in black. Your first alpha mask is done, you can save it as mask AA for example. Do the same thing for your mask B, creating the outline of your character before it takes the pillow. Save your second alpha mask as mask BB.
finally create the third alpha mask with your character on the right grasping the pillow. and save your mask as mask CC. In the same folder, you now have all the masks you created. Next step, how to insert them on the tracks. First, you need to move the sequences from track 1 to track 2. Now select your first alpha mask and drag and drop it on track 1. Adjust the length of your mask to the one of your video. Go to Effects, Video Effects, Chroma Key and click on Alpha. Watch the result and make sure your character doesn't go beyond the boundary of your mask. If necessary, increase the size of your mask or change its position. Insert the second alpha mask Go to Effects Chroma key and click Alpha The effect of the mask B must end just before your character takes the pillow Insert the mask C Chroma key Alpha To finalize your movie, move your sequences and masks below each other on the track. Watch and check the result. You will notice that we can see the outlines of the mask. To delete them, select your mask, go to Video Effect, Sharpness, and increase the value of the artistic blur.
cut and delete now the parts you don't need in your movie. Have fun and see you soon on my channel.